Hello everyone, this is a November 11 question, paper 1 1 and the question number is 1. It's concerned with the chapter chemical bonding. Although it's the first question, it's, uh, not, an, uh, it's not a traditional easy starter one. Um, the question reads, three elements X, Y and Z have physical properties shown in the table. Uh, in the table we have been given the element X, Y and Z, their melting point, boiling point and its density in gram per centimeter cubed. The question asks, what could be the identities of X, Y and Z? Uh, from the options, uh, we know that X is either bromine or iodine. So now looking, going back to the table, uh, X has a melting point of minus 7 degrees Celsius, boiling point of 59 degrees Celsius and its density as 3.1 to gram per centimeter cubed. Uh, from our study of uh, group 17, we know that uh, at room temperature and pressure, bromine is a liquid. Bromine is a liquid and similarly iodine is a solid. Uh, this should mean iodine should have uh, its melting point uh, uh, greater than 25 degrees Celsius. But uh, here X has melting point of uh, negative less than 0 degrees Celsius. So uh, X cannot be iodine. Also the uh, fact that uh, we have been given boiling point of X is 59 degrees Celsius corroborates with statement that bromine should be liquid at RTP. Uh, so we can uh, eliminate the options C and D. Now for Y and Z, we have uh, been down to aluminium and silicon or sodium and magnesium. Now again considering uh, the melting point, boiling point and density, uh, we have been given 98 and 883 for uh, Y and 649 and uh, 1107 for Z. But here density uh, of Y we have been given 0 0.97. Uh, density of water is 1.00. Uh, this would mean Y floats in water rather than uh, it doesn't sink. Uh, y is lighter than water. Uh, from our options, uh, aluminium and uh, sodium. Uh, aluminium is heavier than water, it sinks. But sodium, it's uh, lighter than water and it explodes when it's already in the, uh, on the uh, surface of water. So our correct answer should be B. Uh, taking a different point of view by considering the boiling points, uh, uh, silicon has a giant molecular or giant covalent structures. Uh, it is uh, the silicon atom is uh, co strongly and covalently bonded to uh, its neighboring silicon atom. So we need very high energy to overcome those forces. Uh, this would make uh, boiling point of silicon to be around uh, 3000 degrees Celsius, but Z only has its boiling point of 1107. Uh, so this would also eliminate A. Uh, uh, reducing down only to B making B the correct answer.